Hey guys, what's going on? It's the Mad Stacker here with our third city video. I say R because I am joined, as usual, by the lovely Lady Stacker. Hello! She's sitting right here. You can't see her. You can't see me either, but that's how it goes. Uh, like I said in a couple videos, uh, I decided I wanted to make a Marvel-themed city this time, and as you can see already, it is just jam-packed full of stuff. So let's just get right into it. I'm going to start over here. Let's Let's zoom in just a bit. First of all, all the way over here on the far side, you can see the Incredible Hulk. He is delivering a thorough Hulk smash to both the Taskmaster and the Beetle. I figure Hulk is big enough that he can smash as many guys as he wants, but he can only fit two in his hands. So, and you know, Taskmaster, Beetle, I feel like Hulk could sm probably smash them pretty easily. Uh, we decided to put the... I don't want to say helicarrier, because that's the, the Quinjet! It's a Quinjet! That's what it's called. It's over here, it's landed, it's unloaded a bunch of its heroes, but of course there's still a bunch going on over there. Iron Man, who I couldn't really figure what he would be doing other than enjoying watching Hulk smash. He's just standing there being suave. He's being very suave and very smug, because he's Tony Stark and that, that's what he does. Uh, over here on the back of the Quinjet, you can see, of course, a battle going on between Captain America and the Red Skull, his arch enemy. Uh, I, I, I do really like any any chance to make it look like things are flying around and smacking people. So Cap is, is hurling his shield at him. The Red Skull's gun is brought to you by Brick Warriors. That is a Brick Warriors weapon. I thought it looked really good with Red Skull. So that's what I gave him. Case closed. Zooming out down here, you can see Bubba Bricks. Bubba Bricks, uh, nobody seems to be paying attention to him. So he's sneaking onto the Quinjet. He's going to see what, kinds of, what kind of mischief he can get up to on there. I'm sure there's some very interesting things in that Quinjet for Bubba Bricks to get his hands on. You can kind of see Nick Fury over here, and he's got a giant weapon, and he's a little miffed because his car got stolen. How someone stole Nick Fury's vehicle, I won't know, but uh, it's definitely Chewbacca. Chewbacca is owned by the same company that owns Marvel, so it makes sense. <laughs> Thank you, lady. So, yeah, uh, Nick Fury is very anxious to get his vehicle back going so far as to uh, destroy it if he has to. He's using Rocket Raccoon's weapon, I believe, right? Yeah, he so. probably he probably just borrowed it from him. He'll give it right back. I bet he will. Well, because Rocket's a little busy. Rocket's busy at the moment. You'll see him shortly. Uh, in the back here, you can see there is Bricks for Chris's Sig Fig, who I recently got, and I'm glad to have finally be able to be in my city. I decided that Bricks for Chris is going to own the bike shop, because that seems like something he would do. He has a large collection of bikes of his own. So uh, he is a little worried, though, because there is all kinds of crazy stuff going around his bike shop. There is Modoc up there being generally menacing with his giant head. <laughs> Falcon is, of course, flying high. He's probably, uh, you know, checking out. He, he just kind of looks like he's, he's mugging it right now, though. He's, uh, he's just kind of waving to the camera, being like, Hey, I'm the Falcon. And up at the top, a little higher up, you can see that the Green Goblin has kidnapped our resident magician, who still has not been able to find his pants for some reason. There's I don't a know. Growing trend in Stackville. <laughs> There's just people with no pants. It happens. So uh, Green Goblin is is not looking very happy about it. But thankfully, he is being pursued by Spider Man, and I'm sure he will be safe on the ground again soon. Green Goblin does not like it when people do not wear his not, do not wear pants. That is true. Uh, right next to the bike shop, there is, of course, our good friend Groot, who is doing his best to pretend to be an actual tree. Uh, I don't really think it's working that well, since most of the other trees in Stackville are considerably smaller than him. And they do not have faces. That's true. But, uh, but Rocket is enjoying a delicious pizza. I figure he deserves it. And plus, I mean, at his size, that's like three meals, probably, for Rocket Raccoon. That's, I mean, it's, it's kind of a big pizza. Okay. It's as big as his head. Almost looks like Groot's doing Tai Chi, doesn't it? He's very zen with nature. He's very zen right now. On many levels. So let's back it up and we'll show you over here. There is our resident dinosaur and, of course, our resident dinosaur man, who is once again doing a sick ramp over the raptor. That's a that's a pretty good trick, I think. If mm. you can if you can jump over an entire dinosaur. That, Ollie. <laughs> all the sick Ollie's, man. It's, it's so buttery. That's skater, that's skater lingo or so oh, I've been that's, told. Oh, that's lingo I did not And know. in the back there is, of course, my good friend John, who was just walking down the street, and all of a sudden there was a dinosaur man ramping over a non-man dinosaur. So he's a little bit frazzled, I think. 
You can see over here in the park, which has a little bit more detail now, thanks to Clutch from Bricks on the Dollar and some of the stuff that I got from Bricks for Chris. So let's get into that a little bit. You can see here is Star-Lord and Ronan the Accuser from the upcoming movie Guardians of the Galaxy, which I am very, very excited about. Star-Lord is kind of doing his attack slash escape move. He's just kind of flying directly away from him and shooting him. Ronan doesn't look too phased by that, but then Ronan doesn't really look too phased by anything. Now, he's, a, he's a lone Ronan. <laughs> now, behind him, you can see I, I have myself set up to uh, hopefully trip up Ronan once he gets hit by those energy blasts. And Lady is over there with Cookie, her adorable brick dog. And she's just trying to get my attention, I think. I didn't really think too well into that. That's just kind of there. I'm just, I'm just kind of there, like, hey, what's up? What's up? I got hey, a dog. I got a dog. Let's, let's, let's do it. <laughs> well, what's going on? I just got off work. Okay. So there is Venom over there with Wrong Way Richard, who is, of course, I think, I think there's a trend in Stackville to kind of like, you know, take a picture of yourself while doing an impression of the statue, and Venom seems to be doing a pretty good job of it, although the statue is also being fairly menaced. The by... statue is doing a very good impression of Venom. That's true! Uh, but that, I don't, I don't want to go into that, that's a little creepy. And he has menaced slash coerced our male lady, Shirley Deliverwell, into taking his picture. Where Venom gets his cell phone, I'm not sure. I don't want to know what it would be covered with. It seems like it would be sticky. That's gross. Yeah, it's kind of gross. I'm That's sorry. Gross. I'm sorry about that. Um, and last but not least, over here in the park, you can see Drax fighting Doctor Doom. Drax and Doctor Doom both needed someone to fight, so I figured, why not have them fight each other? They look at each other across the room like, might as well. Might as well have a fracas. And a fisticuffs there. Okay. So, moving back over here, you can see... The Black Widow, who is trying to sort of do her best to help out Nick Fury here. She's trying to maybe maybe take out the engine of the car there before Chewbacca manages to fly it away. Ch I mean, Chewbacca has pretty good experience flying stuff, though, yeah, so, so I feel like I feel like it might not be easy. Who, who will win in this fight? We'll have to follow up. <laughs> we'll let you know soon. But uh, speaking of speaking of fights and chasing, you can see there's there's a little bit of a chase broken out here. That's Thor on his. Nice little bicycle, and Loki on his nice little bicycle, and I'm sure one of them has a little bell that they can ring on it. It's, it's probably Loki. It's probably Loki, and he's probably just riding around just, doing it to annoy everybody. Yeah, either like the honk, like the the horn. No. He's just, he, yeah. yeah, he's just laying on it, just just because he can. <laughs> so hopefully, again, hopefully Thor will catch up with him soon and uh, and make everything better. I'm gonna see if it'll be if it'll be easy to actually show you this stuff since it's kind of in the back here. And oh, I knocked someone over. It's, it's only Scott. Oh, well. But you can see in the back, there is a lady with her baby Johnny, who seems to be, he seems to be growing up quite quickly. He has a, has a heck of a toupee for a baby. <laughs> he might have stolen that from someone, I'm not sure. <laughs> That's not your toupee, baby. But in the back, over there at the City Pizza, you can see our good friend Clutch with his good friend Julius Pepperwood. They're about to enjoy a delicious thick crust pizza from Chicago, all the way from Chicago. How they got it delivered from that far away, I don't know. I don't know. I, I'm pretty sure City Pizza makes thick crust pizza, but uh, but Chef Luigi is back in there, and he, he seems to be relatively unconcerned by it. He doesn't care. It's outside the pizza shop. S since I knocked it over, I'll just show you this now. There are my buddies. You've seen them in videos before. Phoebe, Scott, and Stubbs. And they're just kind of, I mean, there's so much crazy stuff unfolding around them. They're just kind of just watching Phoebe's there with her, her delicious donut. Scott's got his chicken leg. And Stubbs, I don't know, that looks like it's, it's a magic wand or a stick or something. I'm not really sure. He has a stick for hitting people. But he's, he's or, got something. Or a cane. And it definitely, looks like, uh, it definitely looks like it's doing him good. So, moving on. All the way above the City Pizza, you've caught a glimpse of it before. And if you saw it on Instagram, you know that this is the biggest display stand I've ever had to build. But I did manage to get the Milano up above the city pizza. I really like that in the in the city it just it just looks great. It's huge just kind of hovering over the city there. Uh, you can see there's there isn't any really anyone driving it right now. It's just kind of hovering there. But I am recreating a fight from the end of the movie. That is Nebula from the Nowhere Escape Mission fighting against Gamora who they I mean their faces are kind of it's a little hard to see, but 
It's definitely Gamora, and it's definitely Nebula. And they're definitely fighting on top of the Milano, which is really cool. Oh, before I mention anything else, there's a couple guys waiting at the bus stop. I don't know why they're waiting at the bus stop, but if you know who they are, you should leave it in the comments, because they're pretty awesome, and I love them quite a bit. And you can see in the back there, just kind of, again, just kind of taking everything in. It's Claw Cop. I kind of wanted to do something with him and Wolverine, but uh, that didn't really end up working out too well, so. Oh, claw. well. Claw Cop. He's a cop with claws. He's Claw Cop. And right in front of him is our electric lineman working on the electric lines, which are kind of invisible, but, you know, that's definitely Electro, and he's definitely having some fun up there with a little hard hat, just kind of just kind of zapping stuff. I don't think he's a certified electrician. I don't think he is either. Let's move on real quick. Now, I have to say before I show you this that I did cheat a little bit. I said that this was Marvel-themed, and it's not 100% Marvel-themed because I got some guys over here at the pool. Magneto is just sort of having a good time levitating the diving board and... Uh, and just sort of showing off his diving skills. He he's got his helmet floating there. You can see he's got the uh, he's got the trident sort of hovering behind him. But in the middle of the pool, Aquaman has been frozen in a block of ice. Oh no! By Mister Freeze. Who again? Neither of those are Marvel, but you're just gonna have to deal with it because I really like Aquaman and I really like Mister Freeze, and I figured they would be cool in the pool. Cool Ooh. in the pool for the summer. Thank cool. Thank, thank, cool thankfully, kids. Aquaman does seem to kind of have his uh, his shark buddy there to help him out a little bit. Because, as we all know, Aquaman's got mad sharks. Oh, no. I didn't want to cover up the camera. So, back over here, we have Nova. He is a space cop. That is comic Nova, or cartoon show Nova, as opposed to the movie Nova. I didn't really have enough space for both of them, so I decided to just use him. And he clearly is, is bending the rules a little bit, and he took a police motorcycle so that he could chase down Dr. Octopus, who is gleefully robbing an armored car. You can see he's got some swag already, and he's looking very, very pleased with himself. Now, over here at the newsstand in the hospital, there's some crazy stuff going on because a sentinel seems to be getting his head handed to him by Wolverine trying to kind of hold him off there. I don't know how well he's doing. He seems to be having some electrical problems, but uh, this, the Sentinel's a little off balance. That was a little, that was really fun to, to set up too. I really liked kind of being able to show him in an action pose like that rather than just have him standing flat on the ground. Mary Jane is over here sitting out front of the hospital and she looks, I mean, she looks worried. You'd be worried too, I think, if there was a man There's a with, whole lot of nonsense happening right here. There's a whole bunch of crazy stuff going on in the city. There's a man with claws fighting a giant robot. It's just silly. There's a giant robot. Yeah, I mean, just 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 the, <laughs> just the logistics of the fact that there's a giant robot. Just the giant. That's 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 bad enough. And there's the doctor there in the hospital just doing random doctor things. But you can see Wolverine hopefully is getting a little bit of assistance here from Storm, who is flying over to help him. Wind. I really wish there was a way I could express Lego wind. It's it's more difficult than it sounds. I mean, <laughs> Thank, thank you. That that was it. That was actually the wind right there. It's better than some other kind of wind I could think of. Oh. Ooh. Oh. Okay. And last, but, well, also kind of least, is the Blackbird. The Blackbird is ready to attack, hovering over the hospital. And Cyclops is just sort of in there. He's just kind of mugging it, too. He's like, eh, I couldn't do anything but pot at the Blackbird, so. I'm just sitting here. Hey, what's up? How's it going, Let guys? me know when I need to back this up. Am I, am I good? <laughs> Am I good? I'm not hitting the other guy, am I? I'm not hitting the hospital. He actually is kind of hitting the hospital, but uh, they can they can just bill him for that later. I'm sure Professor Xavier is good for it. Professor, Professor Xavier has a running tab there. <laughs> so that is actually it. I'm really surprised. It seems like it seems like you know it would it would have taken longer than this. I just felt like as I was putting everything together, there was just so much stuff and so much detail all over the place. Again, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll definitely see more pictures from this in the coming days. So, that is it for this visit to Stackville. I think it's pretty cool. I definitely had a lot of fun putting it together. I know Lady had a lot of fun putting it together. Well, I, was, I came home and realized it was put together. I kind of... My biggest contribution was um, pizza and Chewbacca. 
And and the bicycle chase. Don't oh, forget oh, that. Oh, that's right. I put yeah, on mo mo on. most of ladies' contributions are just kind of right here in this scene. You can and then see. I had to go to work. Well, I mean, I had to work too, but this is part of my work, sort of. So that's that. So I'll give you one more check on Stackville before I leave you alone. It's awesome. I love it. It's probably going to stay this way for a while. So, if you're like me, you'll just keep on stacking.